Hey everyone, it's Saturday the 16th of October. The time is 6.11 or 11 past 6 p.m. The temperature is 31 degrees and we are right by the Sultan Mosque on Muscat Street. And what we're going to do today is a little bit of a street art walk. But we'll also be walking through this interesting area, so if you're not so interested to see the uh, art, you should still be uh, okay with the sights we're going to see, and I won't only be talking about that. The uh, first street here we're going to take is kind of a side road, but it's called the Gillam Gallery, so they actually have some art pieces created here along this sort of back alley and we'll just walk through here and uh, see the ones we can find that will be the start of the walk and as we walk along I just want to get this one as well it's quite cool with the motorbike um, as we walk along I just want to uh, also talk about another thing um, I wanted to do this walk partly today because all of this artwork in the Kampong Klam area is kind of in a smaller area so I don't really have to walk long distances. I've been doing a lot of walking in the past few days. This is really cool on the other side so I'll show you from another perspective as well. There's a cat on top of that. Is it a sort of crate going up? Anyway, there is a cat on top of it. And then, of course, at the top is like a little house. It's a really uh, cool street that you don't really notice unless you walk into it and start looking at this stuff. But in any case, I have been walking a lot. Um, one of the reasons for that being that I wanted to have videos from Singapore when I go to Europe. I'm going at the end of this month. And I didn't want this channel to be then completely changing to uh, different type of walks. I'll do walks in Europe from where I'm going and I'll reveal that later on as well <laughs> where I'm going, but not quite yet. And uh, you'll see some walks that will be marked with a flag from that area. If you like to see them, that's wonderful. I really uh, would, of course, want people to enjoy that as well. But if it's not your thing and you mainly just want to see Singapore videos, that's fine as well. And I will be posting the videos I've recorded during the past month. So it won't suddenly change to a completely different kind of thing. So I just wanted to say that so you're prepared for the change. I'll be away from Singapore in November and December. And uh, during that time you'll see a mix of these videos that you already probably know about. Or if you, this is completely new then this is what I usually do. I walk around Singapore. And uh, yeah, I walk around Singapore and uh, look at different streets and sites around here. And that will continue while I'm away with the videos filmed in October but then you also see those other videos which will be marked with a flag if you just want to stick with Singapore okay. Some of the street art here is uh, inspired by the uh, Patnik 
patterns. This of course being another one of these alleyways where you find the find the art. It's a little bit weird. It's just kind of a having the bins on the doorways and everything and then these uh, patterns and beautiful paintings but also kind of an interesting setup and not one you see every day So yeah, just wanted to let you know to be prepared. There will be some content from another country coming up. And sort of towards the end of the month, you'll find out where that's going to be and that content starts appearing as well. And if you just want to see Singapore, then that is also fine. And you will have content from here as well. Just you might notice that that content will be from sort of this month rather than from November and December, which is because I've been doing all that walking. I think what we want to do is uh, go through here. Cool little uh, set of characters on top of that car. Going on this side because it's nice to show those beautiful houses on the other side. We'll also make a turn here anyway. After a bit. A nice little place over there. A couple of nice little places. Um, I think we can make our way through here. This is also listed as some kind of art, but I cannot explain to you what it is or why it's like this. <laughs> Did he just have the background there? Just walking over here to have a look at this beautiful, colorful wall. same artist has done a few of these around here. I think these uh, walls here are a space that people can use at the back to uh, practice their graffiti skills. And that sort of thing. Because of course in Singapore you don't get that many sort of that kind of spaces just 
see here. That's the Malay Heritage Center over here. Here's the space I mentioned. Take the side here. There's someone cute. It's just enjoying their evening. It's around that time that cats will be uh, finding their way out of hiding. If the sun behind the uh, mosque should be visible. Here's another one of these really colorful, beautiful walls. I'm not going to uh, hop to lane necessarily. We'll see, we'll get towards that part, but I just did something sort of in that area, another video, where you can see those paintings in that area as well. And the fairly interesting setup around the restaurant so if you want to see those you can probably go and uh, have a look at that video no and uh, we'll see where we end up towards the end of this walk but I'm not sure I'm going to go back to that area right now Unfortunately, one of the street art paintings there, which I quite like, with was the uh, old uh, man with the turban, if you've seen that. I think that has been lost to, uh, or basically as the restaurant or bar over there closed. They just uh, seem to have painted over it, which is a shame. You can probably tell I quite like the uh, street art. It's an interesting area otherwise as well. It's got a lot of detail, a lot of restaurants and a lot of life. People were stopping at the bus stop. Thought they'd be continuing on, I could follow them in their footsteps, but nope. No harm done, though. 
We'll be back on North Bridge Road. And then from there, I think uh, we'll go a little further. A look back. And this is of course Chalan Sultan going uh, through North Bridge Road here. Across here. As soon as the lights allow. That's kind of an interesting building there, the round shaped residential building. Uh, have a bit of look at the sky as well, turning sort of. Sunset colors a little bit. Seems I must have got here just as the light has changed. It's taking a fair bit. Well, here we go. That's a look down on Off Ridge Road. And we're following uh, Challenge Sultan for just a little bit. Just to get to uh, Victoria Street. I was going to make that same move, but gentleman over there made way there was really only space for one person and he quietly decided to uh, let me go first here's the Malabar mosque beautiful even under renovation really love the blue color and uh, on Victoria Street we're going to find quite a few interesting paintings. There's the first one and someone posing with it as well. The, the, sort of a window with this guy. I think taking from there. I'm <laughs> and here are the two children in the trolleys, surrounded by the colorful artwork.
there's like quite a few styles actually put together in one wall but it makes for a very colorful artwork there's a look at the Chalan Klapa I often see these uh, artworks from the bus window going by. I think that must be the same for a lot of people. I guess it's a particularly busy street for buses, Victoria Street. looking buildings on the other side and this whole area has quite a lot of restaurants and bars here's the The next artwork on an alleyway as well. This building is uh, a museum, I believe. Do they have a sign? I think it has to do with old cameras, but it would be nice to be able to uh, give it a proper name. No, I guess it's just the Photograph themed on the outside, but no real name. I believe it is that kind of thing. Uh, cameras have to go some time to find out more. The other side, they ask for no photography or video recording, although I think that's their own sign, but that's why I'm pointing out the camera not to record. But I will record the next building sign, which is the girl and the cat. A really cute painting, one of my favorites. And uh, I've been worried about it because there's the torrent sign on this one. I hope they don't paint over it. That would be such a shame. The sky over that way looks like there's going to be a bit of a sunset tonight Let's see if I can catch that with the pocket 2 camera the screen is it's really convenient that it's so small while you're walking around but it's also really small if you try to see if it's catching the sky or not so you might see me clicking quite a lot sometimes trying to catch that I think we'll take a challenge tonight here um, let me just quickly check so that would be boogies over there
so this is taking us back to the uh, mosque. It's very quiet compared to the other roads. Oh, this is beautiful. It's kind of hidden. I was wondering if it's here, but yes, it is. Very beautiful. And continues on this side. Guess I can oh just go through here. We'll have a look at this one on this side with the, what looks like people exercising over there. And then <laughs> go to the side street. It's really difficult to even know these things are here. They don't stand out much. So this is sort of a, I don't know, I don't know what to call that theme. Are they sort of modern or are they like... Hmm. Hard to say. You can make the call. And here's a nice view from Arab Street towards the buildings in Bugis. Kind of ended up on the wrong side of this building being uh, renovated. to the other side and letting these people pass while I do so. I'll uh, go look for one more. I guess uh, if there is one more painting that I'd like to see and also we can have a look at the colourful buildings on Arab Street at the same time. I think the horizon is a little bit low on this very easily today. Let's see, that doesn't help at all. It's 
just try to keep an eye on it. So we walk this side to see the carving buildings on the other side. We didn't catch before. get a look without the uh, cars as well. It's a really nice area to walk in with the, all kinds of shops and uh, restaurants. Take a the street here, and I think I already see one painting that we haven't yet covered. Hello, hi. <laughs> <laughs> no one trying to invite me for happy hour. I'm not going to do that in the middle of a walk. So here's a painting in the corner. That one. Apparently it symbolizes when this area used to have um, this type of trade. So it used to be a place to trade jewels, precious stones. And we're on another back alley just to see this one, which covers the familiar sites from this area with the mosque and the even cats. <laughs> it's quite a fun artwork. But again, you wouldn't really know it's here. smells of really nice coffee around here. And uh, getting busy for some of these places. So again, the view. I'm very busy around here now.
back to very close to where we already been. And also already covered those walls over there. Just wondering if I could find one more. But it seems maybe not. So I think with that, since I'm not able to really find the one I was looking for for the end of the walk, I'll come back another time and uh, I'm sure I can show you that one then. Just as soon as I can cross here, I'll uh, do that and uh, walk towards Northbridge Road from here. So I hope you enjoyed this walk, whether you like the street art or not. Um, it's certainly an interesting area in Kampong Klam to uh, walk around, whether you are into street art or not. If you'd like to see more walks in Singapore and soon in another location as well. Or if you'd just like to see one or the other as well, then if you haven't subscribed, you can do that. And then you'll be able to see when the videos are published on this, on this channel. It will be nice to end with the view of Sultan Mosque. But I will just uh, need to wait again to uh, get there. Here we go, seeing the uh, mosque through the gate. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, like I say, said I hope you enjoyed this walk there's some photo taking around the gate and with that and with view of a beautiful mosque I uh, hope I'll see you again soon.